I'm Whitney Panel with Keller Williams Greater Lexington. I'm here with Marty Preston of Benchmark Mortgage, and we are going to talk about the new closing statement. Um, some buyers, sellers may not even be aware of this, but as of October 3rd across the country, a new form will be used for all closings. The HUD, as buyers and sellers know it, the HUD-1 is gone, will be gone. So anyone applying for new loans after October 3rd will be using this new form. And I think we as realtors are a little timid about it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna hold up to closing. What are we gonna do? There's all these new rules. So I thought I would just talk briefly to Marty and kind of um, get some answers so I can educate my buyers and sellers on this process. So Marty, what is the new closing statement called? So the new closing statement is called a closing disclosure form. So the old closing statement, as you said, was called the HUD-1, Housing and Urban Development 1 Settlement Statement, and now we're calling it a closing disclosure form or a CD. So that's really the thing. Like we talked about, the main thing is it, the, the new rule is called TRID, which stands for TILA, which is a Truth in Lending Statement, and RESPA, which is the old HUD combined. It's called TRID because that's an integrated disclosure. So really all they're doing, it's nothing to freak out about or get too worried about. All they're doing is they're taking two forms, combining it into one. And they're doing this because they wanna make sure that consumers are protected. The, the new company or the new organization that monitors all this is called the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And they came up with this just to make sure that everything is kind of front and center for your buyers on the front page of that form. Okay, good. And how will this new form, I've heard that the um, form has to be presented to the buyer three days prior to a closing. How could that delay closings for everyone? Well, so, you know, a lot of times real estate agents tell me that they don't get the HUD-1 right now until the day of closing. Sometimes, Pretty much, yeah, sometimes, sometimes they don't even get it until at closing. <laughs> now, as you know, working with us, we usually get that out at least a day in advance, but now that disclosure has to be out three full days in advance, and we have to have proof that the buyer saw it. So we have to get their signature on it, which can take some time. Okay. So. Like I told you, if we do our job right, you should not feel much difference from this at all, but it does require a lot of shuffling on our end to make sure that we get that disclosure out ahead of time so things go smoothly. So what happens, everyone shows up for closing, moving vans in the driveway, you know, everybody's ready to close on the house, and then we look at, the, the buyer looks at the statement and says, oh, wait a minute, we wanna prepay our taxes, or we want to, we had a credit for a new HVAC, what yeah. now? Yeah, so <laughs> as of today, some of those things can be fixed fairly quickly. As of, you know, this starts on October 3rd. Anybody that applies for a loan on October 3rd, that goes into effect. So you won't start seeing this form until November. Okay. But if that happens after that, then what's going to happen is, is that disclosure has to be reprinted, sent out to the buyer. We have to wait three full days before we can close again. So it's really important that we get all of our T's crossed and I's dotted three days before closing now instead of at closing. So any issues, we're gonna make sure that we get those numbers to the buyer, to the seller three days in advance and then have everybody review it and let us know if we need to change anything so we can do it then instead of later. Would you advise um, us as realtors to put 45, 60 days for a closing? I've kind of heard those numbers, you know, yeah, that's a great question. I think it's really case by case, you know, and um, I think what this is going to do a lot of times because people are anxious, they just want to go look at a house. And I think it's really important that a buyer comes and meets with their lender up front yes. to kind of see, because the truth is just like it is today, some loans we can close, as you know, in 10 days, some take 30, some take 45, 30 is kind of the average, which is why most contracts are written for that but a lot of them take longer, a lot of them take shorter. Okay. It, it just depends on each individual consumer. So, you know, if you have a deal that it's gonna make a big difference, if the consumer, maybe the consumer gets a huge discount, if they can close sooner, if they can come in and meet with us so we can see what, what type of loan we're doing, there's still gonna be plenty of loans that we close within 30 days and even within 20 days. 
but this will make it a little bit longer just because we have to get that out. And the buyer has to be compliant. When you say we need this right now, they can't put it on the back burner or they're going to delay their own closing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And pre-approvals, I think, I mean, I don't ever start working with the buyer until they have met with a mortgage lender and gotten pre-approved. That's, that's really the first step in, in the whole buying process is getting pre-approved and knowing what you can qualify for. So. Right. And on our website, you know, for, um, for our top agents like you, what we do is we have a form that tells buyers what questions to ask lenders. So even if they're not using us, it's really important that you know what questions to ask them because if, even if you have a pre-approval, but you're not working with a lender that has these systems in place, it can cause a delay in the closing. And I've, I've had as recently as last month, we had a deal where the buyer delayed some things, caused the closing to go past the contract date. The seller had a backup offer Ooh, yeah. that they knew about and they're, they're still trying to negotiate whether they can get out of that. So it can really mess up some things, as you know. So it's very important yeah. that they they check those things up front. Well, I appreciate you explaining this and maybe getting some of the um, rumors out of the way. And I think we can all continue to make a progress in the home buying and selling pro process. So. This won't stop it. <laughs> Thank you.